Welcome back to SQL Server Denali, always on Next Gen HDR Solution. I'm Prakash, and till now we have covered to set up a high per V environment for Denali validation. We finish up to part six, and we enable the availability groups. In today's session, we'll talk about configuring availability groups uh, with two databases. I'm on node one as it was before we already enabled the availability groups so I'll go ahead and configure the availability groups right click click on new availability groups uh, you have to, you here you have to give the name of the availability group so that would be QDC AG I give name QDC AG as availability group. As you see, there are no databases here and no show user databases are here. So let's create two databases for the testing. Let's open a new session. I have a script to temporarily create the databases. We'll use that for this testing. I'm creating test DB1, creating a table, inserting uh, some value into the test DB1. Click F5. All right, I'm successful. Now I'm creating the test database 2. Same, adding another table and inserting some data. Let's validate the databases. So we have DB test one, test two. To to use an availability group, uh, you have to take the backup of the database. Let's see what message we get if we don't do that. So I say refresh. I think should I say user data not meeting requirement? I click to see user data not meeting requirement. See DB one, DB test one, and test two. Database does not have a full backup, so let's go ahead and take the backups to have it eligible. I'm taking it to a default C location. All right, so we are good. Let's remove it and refresh it. All right, it's able to see both the databases. Select them, click Next, click on Add, and add the second SQL Server. All right, now let's see what other read mode in secondary role. So even for primary and secondary, it says default as disallow connections, which means when it becomes secondary role, it will does not allow connections. The another option is to read intent connections, which means you can read some data, but it would not allow you to create a transactions. If you pick allow all connections, you can start a read only transactions and do that. So we'll pick same on both the sides, primary and secondary. Have a look at the endpoints. Endpoints are already created here. The name is HADR underscore endpoint. Replicas, let's click on next. All right, so Danal is ready to configure availability group. Click finish. So configure endpoint is successfully done. It created availability group and finally it joined second replica to availability group QDC AG. So we are good. Now the availability group is configured but and let's start with data synchronization. So it shows the source machine, primary machine and needs for a share folder. So just type C dollar and click on test notice here validating shares so it's validated the share it is good to go as you can see it will do a full backup restore it on the target backup the log restore the target and join DB test one to availability group that's the same step it will do for the next node so do for the next node so let's continue All right, data synchronization has started successfully. Click OK. Click Close. 
all right so we just finished configuring our first availability group we test one QG81 you can see available replicas and databases everything is green looking good primary secondary you right click here you will not see an option to fail over let's see on the second node what is happening I'll put a group here when you click on right click on the secondary node you have an option to see force failover on the step secondary node you can do the force failover other two failover methods are not supported in CDP1 we configured successfully an availability group in next video we'll show how to do the failover and validating the read-only mode till then thanks and goodbye for watching the video